What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now this is going to be my solo guide on how to unlock the Thieves Den. So I'm going to bring you guys from start to finish and then I'll probably end up cutting that off and then making a separate Thieves Den vendor reset video because like I do every day I go to the Thieves Den solo so I might as well show you guys how I do it. So if you guys enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions at all after watching this video, hit me up in the comments section below. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified each and every time I bring you guys a new Division 2 video. But alright, so starting off, I am in the base of ops because I want to explain to you guys how I get to the Thieves Den so easy, so low. Starting off with your Dark Zone perks. This is pretty vital, so I'm going to go through these. Um, in order to get all of the perks that I have, you need to be max DZ level 50. If you are not, just get whatever perks you can, and then whenever you finally do hit level 50, you can have all the perks enabled. But alright, so let's go to the honorable mentions. So first one I would like to mention to you guys is tier 7. This is when you hit DZ level 30. Now the reason why I want to point this out is Vanish. Uh, I choose Vanish because I am Grey Rogue a lot. And because of this I would like to know if there are other agents around me. So using this perk Vanish while you're Grey Rogue the nameplates of other agents are visible within 15 meters. So I can see them, their names through walls, I can see their names around the corner, and I can, you know, drop my booster hive and go away or do whatever. So this definitely helps out if you're wanting to be sneaky and avoid any sort of PvP while going to the Thieves' Den. I know a lot of you would want to do it without doing any sort of PvP at all, so I'm going to try to show you guys how to do that. Next one I'd like to show you guys is at uh, tier 9, that's at DZ level 40. I choose this one, No Honor. Reason for that is every day you go to the Thieves' Den, you get a reward, a daily reward. And I'll show you guys once I get into the Thieves' Den what that reward is. It's really well, uh, it, it's really good and it's well worth it. So I would definitely have that on, especially if you're going to the Thieves' Den. And then finally, tier 11, you get this at DZ level 50, 50 is max. Now DZ tier 11, I choose Dark Deeds, 25% increased Thieves Den triangulation added from Rogue Actions. So whenever I hack a terminal, whenever I uh, pick a loot box, and whenever I pop Rogue, it will give me 25% more Thieves Den Triangulation just from that one action. So that definitely helps out get to the Thieves Den even quicker. So I hope that helps for the perks. Now let's just, uh, let's see. So the build I'm going to use, it's got a lot of skill haste and I'm using the Booster Hive. I do that because I am running the entire time. I'll probably go ahead and throw on a deflector drone just to show you guys. We're going to try to do this without any sort of PvP or anything at all. So, you're sitting here at the base of ops and you're like, hey, I want to go to the Thieves' Den. So, you go to your map and you look at the Dark Zones. Dark Zone East uh, does not have the Thieves' Den. Let's see, Dark Zone South is occupied. You can see that with the knife and the hazard symbol. So it must be, here we go, Dark Zone West, Thieves' Den vendor available. So what I typically do, you can see that these extractions are pretty much in like a, a weird, you know, curve shape. So you can either start on the far right corner or you can start in the bottom left corner. Me personally, I like to start in the bottom left. So what I do is I try to stay away from those extractions away from those landmarks let whoever's you know farming or pvping do their thing because within a couple minutes i'm already at the thieves den so as long as i can do this in a quick and orderly fashion it's just going to be 
a cakewalk. All right, so now we are at DZ West. Um, it did not put me in a different lobby, so this must be a pop-in lobby already. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. What I typically do is I just go here to the left, get away from the turrets, and then I start my gray rogue process. Make sure you are away from the turrets, like I just said. Let me double check the map. All right, so there is a challenging landmark up here in front of me. Challenging landmark over here. Nothing's really popping off. Another landmark just popped up over here, and there's some gray rogues. So I know they're gray, so I'm going to go ahead and be gray too. And then I pop my booster hive, and then I can destroy it. And with my skill haste, I get it back pretty much immediately. All right, there we go. One terminal. Now you can do this multiple ways. I just go from one skull to the next. Um, but obviously if you see it's uh, going to bring you into a landmark or into some players, don't do it. All right, there's 40%. That looks like a chest. Here's a terminal right here. All right, I'm at 53%. I hear players, so this might be a little tricky. That's a player right there next to me, but I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Now I'm at 78% triangulation. Alright, now I'm at 90. Oh man, that one guy must have been in his menu. He was just sitting outside there. Most definitely in his menu. All right, so this should be my last one right here. And there we go. All right, unlock the thieves' den. So then we go to the nearest door, which is right next to us. I'm gonna pop another hive. And it looks to be right on the other side of this building. Now the cool thing about this is even if there's players next to you shooting, as long as you get to the door and hold X, it doesn't matter. And there you go. We are there. Let me uh, take a nice screenshot for my thumbnail. And there you have it. In the Thieves' Den. Boom. Now that's, uh, that's how I typically do it. Uh, there's a lot of bobs and weaves. I use that booster hive quite a bit. If I see a player and I think they're busy, I'll, I'll get near them, but I don't ever engage. As soon as you engage, you're going to pop regular rogue status, and you don't want that. You want to stay in gray rogue status. They can shoot you, uh, and you will not be uh, popped red rogue, but you cannot shoot them. All right, so like I was saying, that no honor perk, it's this bag right here. This is your daily Thieves' Den loot. So if I hit this, you get three 500 items every day you go to the thieves den and every single time you go to the thieves den you get this box right here so that's four items in one trip and i just got some dz resources and high velocity rounds so there's all that i'll give you guys a little sneak peek oh there's no vendor here ah interesting all right well there's a first time for everything i guess um yeah so let me figure that out, and I'll give you guys a Thieves' Den vendor reset video here in a second. But that is how you go 
uh, to the Thieves Den and solo. All right. If you guys liked it, hit that like, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions at all, hit me up in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.